Hey guys, Joe here at JP Details with the subject of correcting white paint. Before we start, there is no difference between correcting white, black, blue, red, pink or orange paint. In fact, correcting paint comes down to the paint hardness and the types of defects you are trying to remove. I simply found an opportunity to record a video whilst detailing this Audi A3S line and thought of a couple of topics I could talk about which make correcting white paint easier. In this instance, a two-stage machine polish was given to offer the Audi A3 a cutting stage to remove medium depth defects, followed with a refining stage to restore the paintwork to an incredibly glossy finish. Considering compound liquid is white or very close to white, the most important factor with correcting white paint or any coloured paint is the lighting sources you are using. This enables you to see the level of defect removal you are achieving and it also makes it far easier to see what stage your compound or polish is at as it goes through the cutting cycle. Most compounds contain abrasives that you have to break down through working the residue over the surface of the paint. When you first apply the compound to the pad and then begin compounding the paint using the machine polisher, the compound is going to be at its most abrasive with the first few passes that you make. After a couple of minutes compounding or machine polishing, the abrasives in the compound are going to begin breaking down and become less abrasive, which is going to help reduce any marring caused through the cutting stage and begin restoring the paintwork. Once the compound has been fully broken down, which is pretty difficult for me to explain and is the reason why I haven't sped up the compound footage so you can see how long it took and what the compound residue looked like at the start in comparison to the end. At this point you would remove the residue using a microfiber towel and then wipe the paintwork down using IPA to remove any polish oils or residue that may be camouflaging or filling any minor defects.
Using your reliable lighting source you would then check the true level of defect removal and either opt to move on to the next section of the panel or do a bit more compounding if required. The refining stage or polishing stage is very similar to the cutting stage, however at this point your primary goal is to restore the paintwork for maximum gloss. When I talk about the abrasives in compound and polish I'm referring to the repairs, compounds and polishes as these are the only ones I use and cannot comment on any other brand. The repairs fine finishing polish again contains abrasives that you have to break down although smaller than the ones found in the compounds. These abrasives are going to be at their highest level of cut right at the start, then as you proceed through the polishing cycle, the abrasives are going to become smaller and smaller, finishing the paintwork for ultimate gloss. I won't speed up the polishing stage as I believe you will learn more from watching me do it myself. At this point I was happy with the level of cut and the finish I achieved through the two stage machine polish. The whole car was completed and then IPA wiped down before a Swiss Fax Conneba wax was applied plus all the other detailing dressings and protectants. As always thank you for watching, please drop the video a like to show a bit of support and subscribe to the channel if you are not already. I'll hopefully catch you in the next one. Yeah.